So this is a small tool I'm working on for my own use. I repair files, uh, photographs mainly, and um, for um, repair of, for example, raw files, I use uh, the hex editor a lot. So I try to determine uh, the corrupted part in a corrupt raw file and then I replace that with the with uh, uh, with uh, the, uh, this, uh, this the same part from a uh, intact file. So I'm using a reference file to repair a uh, corrupt file. Uh, if you do this in the hex editor um, for ten files, this is not a problem. You, hey, you you make a selection in the intact file and you copy that in you paste that into the, the corrupt file you save that and you do it again for the next file and the next file and the next one but, but for 10 files or so this is not a problem but if you have more files then you want to, to automate this and another another thing is that um, there are many um, uh, propri proprietary raw uh, file formats so um, I do not know the, the exact internal structure of each proprietary raw format, but it's still possible often to repair this file, uh, these corrupt files, without uh, having to know the exact internal layout. And again, the trick is to use a hex editor and try to determine by comparing to a, a valid file okay where does the corrupt file go wrong and can we use part of the intact file uh, uh, to patch this simply copy it in there and will it make the corrupt file viewable again and this is not all i uh, recently i repaired a couple of a uh, couple uh, a bunch of um audio files aac format for someone I don't know anything about this AAC file format. So if I get corrupt files, I do a little research. I try to find to see if I can find the specification somewhere. But often it's enough to open a corrupt file and an intact file in a hex editor and determine which place, uh, which part of the corrupt file you need to replace by intact data from the uh, intact file. And basically you repeat this over and over again. So I had to do like 30 of these audio files. Um, so this, the, 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 the main uh, component of the uh, work involved is actually a repeating process of uh, copy and pasting healthy file from a healthy, uh, healthy uh, um, data from a healthy file into the, and then copy that onto the corrupt file overriding the corrupt data so and this corrupt data is mainly uh, header type information so as long as the actual data is intact you can get away with a lot of uh, you can get away with a lot so you, you as long as you have a healthy file now because I do this a lot and it's a lot of repetitive work I have been thinking for a while about a tool to automate this and then I thought okay what do I do each time and each time I do the same thing I I, I find in the corrupt file an easy to identify byte sequence uh, that it has in common with the uh, reference file and then the part in front of that I replace with uh, healthy data healthy data from the healthy files and, and I do it this over and over again so key thing is that you must identify a byte sequence that you can find in healthy data in the in the corrupt file yeah. and uh, this will be the point uh, um, we take as a reference and everything in front of it we copy we overwrite with a data from the intact file. I, I'm not sure if I'm explaining this 
really right, but I will demonstrate. I have a bunch of uh, Canon RAW files here. This is a intact file. Uh, and, and Raw Digger is very accepting when it comes to a corrupt file. So th 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 this is the reason I use this. This is the intact file. The rest of the files are all corrupt. And Raw Digger will tell us. And this one. Yeah, so these are all correct. One more to demonstrate this. Okay, now when we want to repair these corrupt files, a little knowledge is uh, required. And so I happen to know that uh, the actual raw data inside a Canon RAW file is um, lossless compressed JPEG data. So what you can do is open a um, open the healthy file and we can uh, uh, try to find uh, where this uh, block of raw data starts. And uh, I know that this uh, block of raw data uh, starts with a specific byte sequence. Uh, FF uh, D8 FF uh, C4. This is how the block of raw data starts. Now, it finds it one time only, and this is important because we have to get a signature or a byte sequence that is unique so that we can so so we know in each file it's going to do the same thing it's going to find that byte signature and everything that comes in front of this byte signature we're going to replace with data from an intact file of course then we have to be able to find this signature in um, the corrupt files as well otherwise we cannot use it so we'll select a corrupt file, maybe two or three or uh, whatever we want to uh, test to feel confident that this signature will work. Yeah, in the corrupt file, we find the signature as well. So this means that the actual raw data is, is still there. And therefore, the file is uh, we can make this uh, raw data viewable again by using part of a reference file, our intact file, to try to patch the corrupt files. So the signature we found was FF D8 FF C4. Now I hit apply. And now the, the, the intact file, I'm gonna click this button to tell us, to tell the tool that's our reference file. And then for the rest, I'll um, select the uh, corrupt files. And now I click this play button. Nothing is gonna play, but, uh, well, this is a work in progress. So it's not working perfectly yet, but and for other raw files, we need to find other tricks. I mean, uh, for uh, Nick and raw files, there is no FFD8, FFC4, but it, because it doesn't use this JPEG lossless format to store data. So we have to find other things. And, but one thing that many of these raw files have in common that is, is that they have a preview JPEGs. And then, um, so there's a header, uh, with XF data, blah, 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 and then there's a preview, and then the actual raw data starts. So this is another way of tackling this. If we can find the um, end of the last uh, preview, then we're close to the start of the raw, of the actual raw data. So 
I will demonstrate this in a later video. It created a folder called uh, fixed and now we can check if um, Raw Digger is happy with the repaired files. Yeah. So without knowing uh, the exact uh, layout of a, of a Canon RAW file, we can still fix these RAW files. And basically we can do this by looking at a corrupt file and a reference file that is OK. And then find a common byte sequence uh, in the intact data of the corrupt file and then we can patch the corrupt data in the corrupt file with the intact data from a reference file and we basically just glue that together and this is how this works and and the uh, tool i'm working on i'm trying to make this kind of universal uh, universal or generic so that i can use it to repair canon raw files but i can also use it to research and repair uh, audio files or mp3 files or movie files or whatever the idea is every time the same. Compare two files, find what they have in common, find if the actual data is still intact, and then try to fix that. Okay, um, that's it for now. I will I, I continue working on this, and if I have updates, I'll post them.